Welcome to Purchase Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect 7 ounce cocoa soy candle using an 8 ounce tin. I've spent a lot of time researching and testing waxes, wicks and fragrances to get the perfect soy wax tin candle so that you don't have to. These candles have perfect scent throw, great tops and burn efficiently all the way through, leaving minimal wax behind. So first you're going to need some 8 ounce tins, which are easy enough to find online. I like these matte black ones. The candles will be filled with 7 ounces or 200 mils of wax, times 5 tins, which will be equal to a litre of wax. You want to get some cocoa soy wax. I found this wax to be the best for use in tins and trust me, I've tried most of them. Grab a couple of scales. I find the small scale great for measuring the lighter powders and fragrance and the larger scale is best for measuring the wax. Today I'm using an orange and bergamot fragrance oil concentrate from Lux Aroma, which is a company here in Australia. Grab a heat tray or a heat gun if you haven't got a tray. Next, get some vegetable derived stearic acid. This will help your candles burn for longer, increase scent throw, reduce sweating and help to get those smooth candle tops. Some UV stabilizer to prevent any yellowing off your wax. A measuring jug for the wax, stainless steel 1.5 to 2 litre jug for melting the wax, saucepan, tablespoon and containers for powder and fragrance. A thermometer to measure the wax temperature. HTP 1212 size wicks. some 20 mm wick stickums, wick stabilizers to center and prevent the wicks from folding over in the tin. You can also make a cardboard stencil to center your wick if you're a perfectionist like me, and some paper toweling or cloth for spills and cleanup. Now fill up the saucepan just under half full. Place on a medium heat, I'll be heating up the wax to 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit. But don't focus too much on that now, we'll come back to that later on. Place the stainless steel jug inside the water with the handle hanging over the edge to keep it steady. Measure out 770 grams of cocoa soy wax and don't forget to push tar on your scale. When melted, 770 grams of wax will be equal to 1 litre. I do mine in two lots, so 470 grams plus the 300 grams, only because my measuring jug isn't large enough to hold the whole amount in one go. Add all your wax to the melting jug. You may have to wait for it to melt before you can get it all in, so just be patient. Measure out 2 grams of UV stabilizer and then add it to your wax. Measure out 2 tablespoons or 15 grams of stearic acid and add it to the wax. And make sure to stir the wax as you go. Lay out some toweling to catch any of the wax spills from your stirring spoon. Measure out 80 mils or grams of fragrance, so that's around 80% scent throw to the litre, which is strong enough for this particular fragrance. Clean your tins with some wet toweling and then give them a dry. You honestly don't need to dunk the tins in detergent and water, that's just way over the top and unnecessary. Line up your wicks inside the tins with a stencil and stick the wick stickums at the base of your wicks and then press into the tins.
give the area a quick clean up. Slide the wick stabilizers onto the wicks. Heat the wax to 80 degrees Celsius or 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Then turn the gas off. Place the tins onto your heated tray. The longer it takes for the wax to cool in the tins, the better the candles will be. Also, if you're using glasses, you will get much better wax adhesion. I'll explain this in another one of my candle making videos, which you can click on the link to watch after this one. If you don't have a heated tray, you can heat the edge of the tins with a heat gun. But just make sure you don't aim it directly at the wick or it will melt. Roll some toweling out and bring the wax to your bench top. Once the wax cools down to 60 to 65 degrees Celsius or 140 to 149 degrees Fahrenheit, you can add the fragrance. Give it a good stir for a couple of minutes so it binds well with the wax. Place your tins on a separate tray. This will just make it easier to transfer them later on. Now start pouring the wax into the tins and once you reach the lining of the tin you can start to pour into the next one. Line up your wicks so that they are centred. Grab the toweling and give your pots a clean while they are still warm. This will make it much easier for clean up later on. Once the candles have set, take them into a cool dark room and store them there for at least 24 hours before working on the tops. Now for smoothing out the tops, grab your heat gun and tap the nozzle on the bench to remove any debris that may have worked their way inside. Better left on the bench than inside or on top of your candles. Remove the wick centering sticks. Use a low heat setting and start working the tops in a gentle circular motion, just until you see a thin layer of melted wax forming and try to avoid any direct heat onto the wick itself, otherwise it will melt. Sorry if that sounded like you're at the dentist. Once set, cut your wicks a few millimetres above the wax. These wick trimmers will make that job a lot easier to do. Save the excess wicks for future candles. You'll only just need to get some bases to attach them. Grab a tissue and wipe over the candle top. You don't have to do this, I just prefer a matte finished look opposed to a glossy one. Let the candles sit for at least a week or two before you burn them. This time will allow the candles to set properly and will give them a better burn and scent throw. In the meantime, you can design and print out labels for your candles. I've made a video explaining exactly how to do this. You can find that video by clicking the link above. Also, don't forget that if you're selling these candles, you'll need to attach a warning label. These candles will burn for up to 25 hours or more.
the first burn should be at least a few hours just to prevent any tunneling. The melted wax pool does not need to reach the edge of the tin like some people state, that is simply not true. As the candle burns down over time, the tin heats up inside and any buildup of wax on the edges will eventually make its way down to the bottom like this. You can start a nice little side hustle selling candles. I've made thousands of dollars profit from these and also from my glass candles which I'll leave a link to that video. If you have any questions feel free to ask and if you enjoyed this video consider liking and subscribing for future reviews and how-to videos. Until next time thank you for visiting Purchase Reviews and happy channeling.